Hey guys, it's me, Ego here. Hi. Hello. Today I brought me the products from Roman's Milk Grocery line. This line is said to be composed of tints and palettes that are popular in Roman with additional new colors. So let's start the review. Roman's Milk Grocery line. A line that is said to be able to handle all tastes. The line also consists of nail products, but I only got my hands on their dutiful water tint, juicy lasting tint, and better than palette. So now I'll introduce each product one by one and show you the swatch of all the colors. Starting off with the dutiful water tint, it consists of three new added colors. These tints are set to form a transparent dew gloss over the color three minutes after it's been applied on. The applicator has a slightly flattened shape and is said to be made with a very soft introductory shape. The tint may blend depending on the direction of use, but this is said to be normal and can be used with confidence. It's an easy and comfortable dew tint that can be applied on every day and is said that the color gets even clearer without feeling stuffy as time goes by. Roman says that you can easily complete beautifulness by applying it without a mirror by moving your lips together. In the case of smearing, since it's a moist lip product, it smears a lot but the color stays on the lips better than expected. It does not dry easily and has a moisturizing feeling that is not burdensome even if applied every day. In addition, it stated that the transparent colors remain to be clear even when applied with layers. It said that with two or three coats of a single color layered on, the appearance of the color is expressed in various ways. Overall, the color seems to be composed of colors with a lot of white tinge. I think these colors seem to go well with spring or summer. In the case of staining, it's not an exaggeration to say that it barely stains. Number 9 Cotton Melba This is said to be a salmon peach color that reminds me of a sour peach melba. This color is recommended for spring tones. Number 10 Murmur Pink It's said to be a cool pink color like strawberry milk that has been brewed in a thick layer. This color is recommended for both light and bright tones. Number 11, Lilac Cream. This is a cool light like mauve color with a hint of purple. This color is recommended for those with summer, light, or mute tones. After a review of all original colors of Dutiful Water Tints before, and the colors I showed you today are the newly added colors released for this line. In addition to these three newly added colors, if you're curious about the rest of the colors, check out the video by clicking the link above. The next product is the Juicy Lasting Tint. This consists of two newly added colors. It's said to be a tint with a tangled glow that overflows with a fruity, juicy color. Unlike the dutiful water tint, this has a slightly round applicator and I can see that one side is in a slightly oblique shape. It's slightly long and round, but it's not thick, so it was easy to apply. The looser stays on prettily without any white line inside even with a new color. And as time passed, I was able to see the looser develops clearer like tang loop. This tint feels a bit more viscous than the Dutiful Water Tint and seems to have a tackier texture. In the case of smearing, since this product is also a moist product, there's a lot of smearing but the color stays on the lips nicely. The overall colors are said to be soft MLBB colors sitting between nude and mute. The two colors in the Milk Grocery line are said to be unique colors found in fruit. Like the Dutiful Water Tint, it's not an exaggeration to say that it barely stains and it seems to be easy to touch up. Number 28, Bare Fig. This is a cool mauve color made by mixing figs with a drop of milk. This color is highly recommended for summer mute tones. Number 29, Papaya Jam. This is a refreshing Papaya MLBB color with a daily fill to it. This color is highly recommended for those who are mute autumn. The Juicy Lasting Tint is also a product that I reviewed before. Comparing it a bit with the Dutiful Water Tint, I find the Juicy Lasting Tint to have a slightly more viscous texture than Dutiful Water Tint, so it didn't feel very thin and light. If you're curious about the other colors and my reviews, please click the link above and check the video. The next product is Better Than Palette Number no. 9 Dreamy Lilac Garden. The palette consists of a milky lilac base to a subdued mauve shade. While being a lilac color palette, the colors don't seem to be too cool, so it seems like a good palette for both warm and cool to use, with the color on the left as your base colors and the right for shading. It's said that by layering the shades, it will gradually deepen with 5 levels of systematic brightness. It's said that the matte shadows have a clean fixing with an ultra-fine particle that cleans up without smudging even when applied with their fingers, and the glitter shadows have a glitter fixing that lasts for a long time without smudging even if the particles are large. The colors seem to be possible for easy daily soft lilac makeup. The palette is set to allow for various looks to allow you to create your own mood without being boring. Number 1 Blur Sight This is set to be a cool beige base. Number 2 In the Market This color is set to be white, pink, purple mixed glitter. Number 3 Beyond the Fog This color is set to be an ash lilac base. 
number four, the hours. This color is said to be toned down purple shade. Number five, sensitive night. This color is said to be deep cool brown shading. Number six, fantasy dream. This color is said to be an Egosol champagne beige. Number seven, illusion end. This color is said to be charming pink shimmer beam. Number eight, soul poem. This color is said to be a light pink base. Number nine, dear mood. This color is said to be a cool brown shade. Number 10, lilac ground. This color is said to be moth brown shade. I thought that lilac palette would consist of pastel moth-like colors with a lot of white, but it was composed of colors that were not as cool as I thought. So I think that even those with warm tones could use it well if the color combination is good. Like this, I've introduced the products of Romance Milk Grocery Line. The colors have overall cool colors, so I think I'll be able to enjoy a cool summer with these products. But as I said before, since the colors are not too cool, I think it'd be good for warm tones as well. So my video is still here. Thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe, press the like buttons, and please leave some comments for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.